Hey, it's JP here on the Mixed Morning Grind. And yes, it was a wonderful weekend for the Edmonton Oilers. Not one, but two wins for the Oilers, putting them up 2-1 in their playoff series against the Calgary Flames. Joining me on the line from Eagle 100.9 in Okotoks is Shane Hill. Shane, how are you? Uh, I could be better, Justin. I'm not going <laughs> to I bet it you was, could be. It was a rough weekend for us Flames fans. It definitely was. It was two impressive performances from the Oilers. Uh, you know, more importantly, well, I guess almost as importantly as the two wins, uh, it was two bets that uh, you had to come through on this morning. So I'm guessing you spent much of your Monday night just kind of uh, getting ready for that. Uh, yeah, I literally have been dream like I I've been thinking about it so much. I was dreaming about it. Like I was dreaming about the Flames losing all weekend long, <laughs> and me having to one write a poem about how much I love Edmonton, and two paint my nails Oilers colors. It's not been a good weekend, Justin. <laughs> so let's see those nails. Now those listening on the radio right now aren't going to be able to see them, but you'll be able to check it out. Uh, by going to uh, the Facebook page or going to FordSaskOnline.com uh, to be able to uh, see the picture of uh, Shane's nails. Let's see him. Okay, so this is the action we've got going on. Oh, uh, very nice. I like how I you did them to... opposite. I did. I thought, <laughs> you know what, maybe they won't notice as much that they're Oilers colors if I <laughs> do opposite. <laughs> Well, awfully clever, <laughs> awfully clever. Now that's one of two bets that you came through on. The second one was the poem, and I have been waiting all weekend to hear this poem. I just first want to preface this by saying <laughs> I was out uh, with my friends at a bachelor party Friday night, and we were out at a bar, and I didn't watch the Flames game, but then people started flooding in with Flames jerseys, and I was like, oh my gosh, what was the score? And they're like, we lost. And I was like, no, I have to write up home. <laughs> so without further ado, here is my How Much I Love Edmonton poem. <clears throat> Edmonton, oh, Edmonton, I don't know you well, but here in the South, we hear you aren't. Oh, sorry. I mean, you are swell. You have Rogers Arena, the legislature and White Avenue, all of which are great. Edmonton is better. There's clearly no debate. Blue and orange is now the team for me. As you can see, <laughs> forget the flames <laughs> and Johnny hockey. Go McDavid, go dry saddle, go Evander Kane. I lost the bet in game three. I'm a loser. My name is Shane. Oh yeah. And I can't forget that magnificent mall. You may have won game two and three, but baby, the flames are winning it all. <laughs> <laughs> Shay, that was incredible. That is, that is way, way better than I thought it was going to be. Holy cow. Yay. If things don't work out in radio, you could always be a, a poet. I, I'm sure there's tons of money in that, right? Call me Shilliam Shakespeare or something. I don't know. <laughs> I love it. That was fantastic. We might have to uh, have to edit out that last part and then just run that as like uh, an Edmonton tourism ad. We know some people who work there, so that maybe that maybe that'll work. Good. I had to throw a little flames in there. You know me, Justin. I had to stay petty. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the playoff series continues and game four is coming up tonight, coming up in just a little bit. We're going to talk more about what the bet is going into game four, a pivotal game four that could go one of two ways more in just a little bit. Back on the mixed morning grind. We're here with Shane Hill from Eagle 100.9 in Okotoks. Uh, we had a, a couple of bets over the first few games of the Battle of Alberta. Uh, the games over the weekend included Shane having to paint her nails, which she did. She also mm -hmm. gave us a fantastic poem. If you missed that, uh, we're going to let you hear it again a little bit later on this morning. Uh, but Shane, going into game four, we need to make a fresh bet. And I think that we want to go a little bit spicy on this one, don't we? Oh, a thousand percent. We want to go spicy. I was thinking because... I mean, I don't want to get too cocky because you really... You really, you and the Oilers <laughs> showed me over the weekend. <laughs> but because Flames are taking it in game four tonight... We thought, why not do something hot sauce based, flames, hot sauce, you know, kind of that theme. So I think loser should have to like do a tablespoon of some wicked hot sauce. <laughs> I think that would be good. How are you with spice, Shane? Are you, do you like spicy foods or what? I, I like to 
think I like spicy foods, but I like flavor. I'm not like a Tabasco yes. girl. I need it to be flavorful. I'm not doing it for just the hotness. So right. I don't know. I think this would be funny. What about you? I think this is I'm the exact same as you. I need flavor. I can't just do the heat. Uh, so maybe I don't know, maybe. Uh, I, I lead myself to uh, uh, maybe more flavorful hot sauce. Should mm -hmm. I lose? I don't think I'm going to, but uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens. This is a, a huge game. It has been kind of the story of the NHL playoffs, the, the series that even the Eastern people are staying up late to tune in for. And uh, there's been nothing but straight on excitement so far. And this time, well, it's going to be our tongues that will uh, definitely be paying for the loss uh, by our, <laughs> our favorite team. So we'll see what happens, but I expect definitely a closer game tonight and a, a just as exciting game tonight in game number four. I'm with you. I think it's going to be exciting, and I'm praying it's closer, and I'm just loving that I at least have a game one win, and I'm getting pierogies. I'm getting something. <laughs> because right now it's not looking great for me. <laughs> I'll tell you, the pierogies do go good with hot sauce. I was going to say, maybe I'll have something to dip in. <laughs> <laughs> That's Shane Hill from Eagle 100.9 in Okotoks. So we're doing our bets for the Battle of Alberta. And game number four is coming up tonight. So who will end up having to do the hot sauce tomorrow? Well, we'll find out. Tune in tonight. Game time is at 730. Good luck, Shane. Good luck, Justin. <laughs>